All right, guys, here we are at the next series of the video on how to create the perfect backyard. This time we're talking about design help. Now, wow, this is such an important subject, I can't even understate the importance of good design. Now designing your backyard space might not be the easiest thing to do yourself, but we're gonna cover all of the design principles right now that we wanna kinda of educate you on, make sure you understand, and then we're gonna see and try our hardest to walk you through creating your own design for your space. So that's our goal, is to get a design, at least something that you can kinda of visualize. You can see here that we are showing design examples in 3D, we, of course, design all of our projects in 3D, and we can't understate the importance of designing in 3D. So we're gonna kind of walk you through it. There are some design programs out there for free that will kind of help you, but really that's the principles behind the design that we're showing you that we wanna teach you all about. First of all, we wanna draw your home. I talked about it in the first video, the importance of your windows and your doors. Those are so important because you need to be able to see out of those windows and to be able to see those sight lines from not only what you're seeing from outside of the space into the space, but vice versa, when you're inside the home looking outside. So always start from inside the house what you're going to see with your design. So what's gonna capture your attention? What's gonna pull you outside? Think about that. And then what you wanna do is structure the bones of the space behind those sight lines. So what are the bones? Well, that's the destination. So you have a covered structure, maybe a fireplace, an outdoor kitchen, maybe you have a fire pit. See, these are the bones, the structures of the space. Now, this might not be something that's easy for you to do, but I want you to think of that principle, how to design in a 3D world, because you can kind of sketch up your house, sketch up your windows, and then you can imagine what will be seen from those. So take that extra step when you start thinking through your space. It's almost like an interior of your house. So you have a kitchen inside your house, you have a dining room, you have a living room, you have bedrooms, you have a bathroom. You have purpose behind each of these rooms or these spaces. It's the same thing in the exterior. You wanna have a purposed destination, purposed reasons behind going outside. So what are the bones, what are the structures of that outdoor space gonna be? So that's what you wanna think about when you're working on your design of the space. Start from inside the house, look out. What's the structure is gonna be that captures those sight lines? And, and then how are you going to lay those out in the right way? Something that's so important with the design too is to be able to visualize your space and your family in this space. So really with a 3D world, you can fly through, so to speak, and see what you're going to have. And then you can look back on your house, you can look out from your house, and you can really see the whole space in a 3D world. Now I wanna take some time and show you some examples of all of these principles. Now while you're watching this, look at what we've done here. We focused on those windows and the doors. Of course, what you see as you look outside, that's the frame of the space. And then we went from there. We got the structure behind it. We got the bones behind the outdoor living space, all the things that would pull somebody outside. And then once they're outside, we obviously had multiple destinations, multiple reasons to go outside. And then of course, after that, we wanna soften everything. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that after this, but take the time, watch what we've done here, watch these transformations and see how important a good design is to be able to visualize the space before you ever start working on it.
So the cool thing about getting a 3D design is that it will be as if you're looking into the future, into your space. Somebody took a picture at any perspective that you're thinking of, but it's your space in the future. Do you like that space? Are you enjoying your space? That's the beauty of a 3D design, is that you can look at it from the future and then you go back to the future and make sure that's what you want and tweak it till you love it. That's the beauty of a 3D design. Please, I just want to say it, I feel so strongly you can probably hear that. Don't entertain a 2D design because it's not going to give you what you need to really make a final decision for your family in your future. Get a 3D design. The, the modern technology is there and you can enjoy seeing your future space right now. Now this might be a good time to interject that design is a hard thing to just teach with a video. This is kind of a life that you live. We design every day, all day, all around the world, so we really deeply understand outdoor living design. So it might be worth an investment in a good design for your space. And then of course, attack it yourself with the build. Now there are many additional landscape principles that we can talk about and go over, but I really wanna focus on my top three. So those top three are number one, sight lines, number two, style, and then number three, balance. So let's go over each of those right now. Now sight lines we've talked a lot about, but really sight lines are used to carry your eye through your outdoor living space and to create flow and connectivity in this space. So we have vertical sight lines, vertical lines basically like structures. It could be a covered structure, it could be an arbor, it could be a pergola. Even string light posts with string lights on top of them can act as this vertical sight line. And they basically carry our eye skyward and they are useful especially in expanding small spaces. So make sure to think about sight lines, lines, when you're designing your space. Now don't deviate too much from the lines of your home, the architecture of your home. In fact, really consider pulling some of the lines, the architectural lines from your home, and bring them out into your outdoor living space. The second principle to think about is style. Now there's lots of different styles for outdoor living spaces. In fact, they can pretty much go hand in hand with interior design styles. But let's just go over a few of those right now and then we're gonna show you some examples of these. So you got the mid-century modern. You got the modern farmhouse style. coastal style, southwestern, northwestern. You have that modern, just a traditional modern. And then of course you have a traditional landscape or a traditional outdoor living space. And then the third principle that we're gonna highlight here is balance. So balance is basically a sense of equality. There are two types of balance in outdoor living design. You have symmetrical and asymmetrical balance. So basically with symmetrical balance, you have two sides of the landscape which are identical. Basically two sides of your outdoor living space which are the exact same. And then you have asymmetrical balance. So basically a landscape composition that is balanced using different elements and then different objects, which have almost the similar imaginary weight on either side. So hopefully this video on the importance of getting a good design for your perfect outdoor space, especially a 3D design, resonated with you. If you need help, we of course wanna help you, but if not, just hire a local 3D designer. That's great. So the next video that we're gonna to talk to you about is the importance of creating a multiple purpose space, basically multiple destinations for your outdoor space. 
You're gonna love this because you don't wanna just have a space you go out to, you wanna have multiple places for your family and your friends to entertain in. Thank you so much for watching this video and please stay tuned to the next video. And if you wouldn't mind just taking the time to subscribe below, that'd be very helpful. Also, of course, don't forget to like. Anything else? Stop yelling at squirrels. If you could even just say, do you know what 3D does for you? It allows you to almost visualize yourself in the exact space. I mean, do people know? <laughs> okay. I've said that so many times, but I'll say it again. Okay, here we go.